Launch TerraSculptor, choose Settings on the Tools menu, click on the Dimensions tab, and enable the game engine or engines that you are developing for. The currently available game engine presets include CryEngine, UDK or Unreal Engine 3 and 4, and Unity. Enabling one or more engines on this dialog will add the terrain dimensions for that engine to the new and resample dialogs. You can choose to enable just the engines that you are working with, or you can choose to also include other standard dimension values such as Power of 2. On the Settings dialog, choose the Units tab and select the game engine from the presets drop-down. These settings will configure TerraSculptor to create and display terrain that looks equivalent to in the game engine. The TerraSculptor grids and measurement system will match up with the game engine. When exporting height map content for Unreal Engine, the PNG 16-bit grayscale file format is preferred. See the Unreal Engine documentation for landscape creation techniques. When exporting height map content for Unity Engine, the raw 16-bit file format is used. It is required to keep the dimensions square in the raw file so that the width and length are identical. Dimensions also have to be power of 2 plus 1, such as 513 by 513. Unity does not appear to support the industry standard raw RPL header file that would simplify irregular dimension height maps. Before exporting, be sure to click on Modify Altitude Bottom, followed by Adjust Flip Horizontal to have the height map display correctly in Unity. It is not recommended to edit height maps in Adobe Photoshop. Photoshop does not support 16-bit grayscale, which is 65,536 total level values. It supports 15-bit plus 1 grayscale, or a grayscale range from 0 to 32768. This results in half of the 16-bit height map precision being lost.